Okay, welcome back. This is part two of lesson 7.1. So uh, we left off, we we're talking about how human hearts are restless. So um, the question then, well, what will make us restful? What will make us rested? Uh, it's not sleeping in, I'm sorry. But ultimately what will give us rest is resting in God. So what does that mean? So what, what St. Augustine is talking about is that all of human life, we're constantly striving for something that will make us happy, that will make us fulfilled, that will make us at peace, okay? What will ultimately bring us peace and real happiness is resting in God. So by resting in God, uh, what he's describing is our true telos, our ultimate end, our ultimate purpose is to rest in God. Now, resting in God, we can experience a little bit in this life, okay? But we don't experience it fully until heaven, okay? That's when we have full union with God, okay? So our ultimate rest is union with God in heaven, okay? So uh, that's what we're striving for, okay? It's to join God in heaven, uh, to and that will give us our fullest peace, our fullest joy, uh, our fullest satisfaction, okay? Because uh, once we have God, we'll never want anything else. Okay, that leads us to section two for uh, today's lecture. What is morality? Now, morality often uh, has a negative connotation. Uh, we think of morality in terms of, you know, people wagging their fingers, do this, don't do that. Uh, we think of it as, you know, people placing burdens or restrictions on others. But fundamentally, morality encompasses all of human activity, okay? So the word morality comes from the Latin word mores, which means customs or way of doing things. So there are lots of different customs and ways of doing things in the world. Uh, and all of human activity has a particular morality associated with it. You know, sports, going to school, going to church, uh, you know, even uh, TikTok or Snapchat, they all have their own customs or mores associated with them. There's certain things you do on TikTok that you don't do on Snapchat. I don't know what they are, but I'm sure you guys do. Okay. So our basic definition for morality uh, morality is the proper ordering of our free actions to the good. Okay, the proper ordering of our free actions to the good. So what we mean by proper ordering is doing the right thing at the right time, in the right way. The right thing at the right time, in the right way. Okay, by free actions, we mean actions that we are able to do voluntarily, okay? And to the good, what we mean is the good that will fulfill us, the good that will make us happy. So morality then deals with a lot of fundamental basic questions. What is right? What is wrong? What should I do? What should I not do? When should I do this? When should I do that? So these are questions that we're always asking ourselves. So we need to ask, what, what is good right now? What should, I, what should I be doing right now? But that's related to a deeper question. What is, what is the good? And by the good, I mean what is the eternal, unchanging, ultimate good? Because we want what we do now to be directed towards what is best for us in the future, okay? So morality is the bridge between the good that we do now and the eternal good that we want to experience in eternity in heaven. And we'll stop right there. Stop, how do I stop this? There you go.